finally got it working. Windows version triple boot. XP, Windows 98, Windows 4 Workgroup 311 on DOS 622 on one hard drive. Old Dell motherboard transplanted into a more roomy case. Alright. I have it paused, so we'll hit enter to continue. Hit F8 as soon as the BIOS is done so that we get the startup menu in XP. This gets past this. Dot now. Alright. Windows Advanced Options for XP. Return to OS Choices menu. Here's the tricky part. We're going to select MS-DOS, but if I hit enter, it's going to go right to Windows 98 Second Edition. To get it to go to Windows for Workgroups, you got to, as soon as you hit the enter key, you got to hit the control key right after it. So, that, you got to do it quick. Then you come up to Windows 98 Startup Menu, and we'll go down to previous versions of MS-DOS. Got the DOS shell installed. There we are. So, exit out of Windows and go back to the DOS shell. Exit out of the DOS shell. And then we're at the CDOS prompt. You just do a control and delete. I think this machine is just old enough that it can handle 98. I haven't yet tried to see if I can get. Windows for work groups to recognize any drivers. I did have uh, 98 recognizing the soundboard, and of course XP recognizes everything. So we'll let it go to XP this time. I guess the thing to do now is for Windows 98, I think I can get everything, all the sound and everything working. If I, there's any hope, I might have to have a different soundboard. One that has some 16-bit Sound Blaster emulation that the Windows 311 might be able to find. But just getting them all to work in a multi-boot configuration was tough. Couldn't get the menu to work. But after I did some research, I found out, and I remembered you could hit the control key and go right to the start menu, but getting that really got to be real quick because it's going to go to 98. It's hard to get to... Uh, Windows for work groups.